Welcome to HD Toy Theater to look at the Bandai Ultra Act Ultraman Taro. Stands about six and a half inches tall, highly posable, awesome sculpt, glues accessories and weapons, and so let's dive right in and see what this figure is all about. Figure includes extra hands for you to swap on the figure. And to swap is very simple. Let's take off the closed fist that come with the figure. I'm gonna pull it off the end here, expose the the ball there, grab a different hand, plug into place, just like that. The figure includes alternate wrist bands with the bracelet on. Right now on the figure I have just a standard one without any bracelet, but you can put either one of these on. This is with the Taro bracelet activated. And simply to Swap, just take off the hand here first. Then take off the rest here. Now you want to make sure you grab this piece and stick in the non ball head into one of these. Let's, let's go with that guy. Just like, just like that. And then grab a hand, put back, the, put back that original one, took off. There we go. You get this oversized version of the Taro bracelet, which is pretty cool looking. And just bring in the, the smaller version that was for the wristband. As you can see, it's a big difference in size. Nicely sculpted, awesome colors. You get the silver colored Taro Lance pointing at both ends, so be careful there. Nice sculpt. You get a red colored timer that you can swap onto the figure. Just want to take off the existing one here by pulling it off the chest protector. And then notice the angle of this. So you want to put it in like so. Be a little tricky. There we go. Next, we have the Storium Ray effect part made of translucent plastic, combination of green and red paint apps. There's a fist already attached to it, and you also need to swap on this alternate chest protector on the figure. So let's do that. First prep your taro by re removing the left hand. As you hand swap you'll notice that every time you hand swap you're gonna have to keep an eye on this little piece here. That tends to always want to come out especially if you're replacing or swapping the wristbands a, a lot. So make sure you don't lose that. Next, you want to take off the chest protector and you're actually going to unhook it from the back. And as you pull this off, you'll notice the color timer will come off too. So take note of that. You're going to have to put that back on later on. So let me just take this off now. Next, bring in the alternate chest protector. And they're little pegs, let me just show off. Little pegs here, you're going to match up to the holes that are exposed on both sides of the figure. So match those up as best as you can. Just like that. Alright, simple enough. We'll put the color timer back on. You also want to swap the right hand with a chopping hand just to get the pose right. And by bringing in this alternate piece, you can bring in the arm closer to the chest. So, I'm going to just shift this around. Notice how 
much closer it can get the arms closer to the chest. So that's part of the pose. Now the next part we'll just bring in the hand with the effect part. Plug it into play. Just get the pose ready. Just like that. There you go. Pretty, pretty cool. It's nice that, the, that they have this alternate piece to allow you to do that pose. You also get this alternate back connector for attaching the figure to a Tamashii stage like I have over here. And what you're going to do first is grab your figure, take off this little section at the lower back, just like that. Swap on the other piece. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and tight. Just like that. Then take your stage, stick in that peg into that hole. There you go. And now, don't have to worry about the clamp system, making your figure look a little weird and a better looking display for your figure so there you go if you own the brother's mantle which is sold separately you can attach this to the figure and to do that take your figure take off this little section here you expose the insertion area for the cape little piece to connect into. So we'll do that. It can be a little tricky once you get it in. Like that. Now you have a little more style to your taro. Taking a closer look at Taro, is designed straight out of the live action TV show. Awesome head sculpt. It is pointing at these, in these areas here, so just be a little careful. I mean, it won't, you know, prick you, cause you to bleed. But still, it's just, it's just nice to see that the attention to sculpting, attention to detail is all there just by making these relatively pretty sharp. The head design. It has amazing translucent eyes, a compound, compound effect. These little gold studs all over are cleanly applied, which is really, really nice and appreciated. And that's color there, translucent plastic there. Nice silver, not too not too glossy, at the same time not too dull. The red is pretty much flat. He uses the 2.0 body sculpt, so he's a little more muscular than what you might remember from the live action TV show and the movies. But it still makes the figure look pretty cool. I really like how it turned out, despite this taro being just a little more muscular than normal. For articulation, ball jointed head at the top of the neck with some really good range, and then the lower neck is ball jointed as well, so he can look pretty much everywhere he wants to. You get those look up poses pretty darn well. And then for the arms, ball jointed, ball hinge should I say. So you can swing out, 360 no problem. You have a swivel right there where my finger is pointing. No bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, ball hinge wrist, ball jointed upper body right under the chest line, ball jointed waist, 
all jointed legs. You can do the pull down feature for those high angle kicks and push back in. Thigh rotation up there as well. Or swivel, should I say, double jointed knees. All hinged feet. So you can bend them, 360 them. At both ends, you can ankle rock, no problem. And of course, you can bend those toes. So. Final thoughts on this figure. If you're an Ultraman Taro fan like me, you'll definitely be happy to own this. This is the best Ultraman Taro figure out there today. Awesome sculpt, awesome articulation system, a phenomenal amount of accessories and extra effect parts. This figure has it all. Priced at about uh, 45 bucks. A little hard to find. The Bandai, for some reason, doesn't make enough of the Ultra Brothers in general as part of the Ultra Act line. So if you happen to find him at a decent price, don't hesitate to pick him up. Definitely want to add to your collection. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hit like, dislike, and or comment. Check out my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out hd2theater.com and we'll see you next time.